And joining us now from Zanesville is Muskingum County Sheriff Matt Lutz. Good to have you with us, sir. I know this has been a pretty busy couple of days for you. Yes, very busy. Um, it, there, there's a lot of talk. I know there was some yesterday uh, and a lot of talk, especially in cyberspace on Twitter, about why the animals were killed, why they could not be tranquilized. Uh, just clear that up again, if you could, for us, about why it was necessary to kill these animals. Well, there's, there's a lot of issues with that. Uh, I guess the, 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 the two biggest hurdles would have been we do not carry tranquilizer guns in our cruisers. Uh, we have about 32 primary response cars uh, in the county and none of them are equipped with any type of tranquilizer gun. Uh, so uh, when the first responders arrived on the scene, we already had animals outside uh, the fenced area. Uh, obviously they were released from the cage. They were running loose in a pasture field and, they, and some had already been outside the fenced area. So there was no time to wait uh, with the idea that uh, public safety was number one for us mm -hmm. and uh, we did not want these animals roaming our streets uh, uh, in an unsafe manner. The second part of that was is the uh, the time of day. We received the first 911 call on this at 5 p.m. Uh, the majority of our officers didn't arrive on scene till 5.30, quarter to 6, which left us with, with merely about an hour to an hour and a half of good light before it got dark. Uh, there were so many animals uh, running at large that we just, uh, I, I made the decision that we were not going to have wild animals running loose on our streets. Mm -hmm. uh, there was no way of telling which animals would lay down, which animals would run all night, uh, where these animals would end up, and, uh, and that's why we made that decision. Uh, there had been a history of calls at this property with Terry Thompson, uh, had, had been charged with a number of things over the years, but, but a, a local or, or county humane officer said at one point, I read it wasn't a matter of if, but when these animals would be set free, and he had actually threatened to let them loose in the past. So how much focus did you have on this particular property and on these animals in terms of in the back of your mind knowing you might have to prepare for this? Well, uh, I guess it's been in the back of my mind for a long time. I, I've been in law enforcement in this county for almost 23 years. Uh, I've known Terry. Um, Terry um, was the type of guy that would, I guess, I, I've uh, coined him as somebody who would push the envelope a little bit. Terry wasn't afraid to say things like that about uh, threatening to let him loose. I always thought that maybe uh, one or two of these animals would be loose and that Terry uh, may be killed by one of them one day because I've been there. I've seen the trust that he put into these animals. He had a lot of respect for the animals and, and really trusted them a lot farther than I've ever seen anybody else do. And so I, I thought at some point we may have an incident where he would be mauled and maybe uh, an animal or a pen of animals would be loose and we would have to deal with that. Is there any danger at all this morning that something else could be lurking out there? We, we don't think so. Uh, we have uh, one animal that's unaccounted for, which was a monkey. Um, there is a, uh, a possibility that he would be loose, but we have had no report, reported sightings of, of anything and it's a high probability that he could have been eaten by one of the big cats. We did have, uh, out of the 49 animals that are dead, 48 of them were shot by law enforcement. Uh, the one animal that is uh, left would be a, a monkey that we believe was killed by one of the big cats. And this other monkey could have been in the same area of where that monkey was killed. So it is highly probable that he could have been eaten by one of the cats. Sheriff Matt Lutz, appreciate your time this morning, sir. Thank you.